Hey guys, it's J J Williams Productions dot com coming out yeah with a quick I guess you could call this a tutorial. Sure, let's call it a quick tutorial on using automation in FL Studio. So here's what happened. I was revisiting an old track over the weekend. This one here called Future House one twenty five. It's a track I made a couple years ago back in twenty 18 and really didn't know anything about mastering at the time so I decided oh let me go ahead and revis revisit this track and give it a fresh master and then while I was at it I decided to put a fresh spin on it so I'm just gonna I don't know if you guys can hear the tune in the background so I'm gonna hold the mic my headset up to the speaker for a second so you can hear what's going on before we add automation All right, so here's the tip, such as it is. In FL Studio 20, you can automate anything, anything. So now I just turned on the delay bank and it's going on full speed entirely all the way across the track. You can probably hear what that sounds like. Let's turn that off for a second. But what you can do here, guys, you can right click on that button right there next to your plugin. Right click on it and go to create automation clip. And then you see that adds a clip right there in your playlist window. And, and as you can see it's telling you exactly what it's doing. It's a mix level. So what you can do here is you can automate the mix level which essentially is telling telling FL Studio how much reverb to add or remove or delay I should say more more specifically how much delay to add or remove from the track. So in this case I kinda want a, a flat opening or a drier opening to establish the beat. Then I'm gonna bring in some delay, take it back out, and maybe we'll just kinda very slowly bring it all the way up to 100% or so at the end of the track. We'll just try a pattern something like this. This is the actual pattern that I used in the track that I released is this one here, which is slightly different, but we'll just hear what this sounds like. So here you'll see the delay is going to start to kick in right about in here.
All right, so there you have it, guys. That's how you can quickly and easily add some automation, add some delay automation in this case. And it should be noted that the delay, the delay plugin is actually doing its thing steadily. But what you're adjusting with this automation clip is the mix level. So that's the extent to which we actually hear this channel with the delay bank added. Something like that. Alright guys, thanks for checking it out. New album on the way in August. Hope you check that out. And um, yeah, if there's anything in particular you want to know about FL Studio or songwriting or music production or what have you, feel free to comment below. And while you're here, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And then there's a little bell icon. I'm not sure what that does, but if, while you're pressing stuff on your screen or phone, go ahead and hit that little bell icon too, and maybe something cool will happen for you. All right, guys, again, it's Jay, Jay Williams Productions, with a little FL Studio tutorial for you. Take care. Be safe. Bye.